And Christine, they're picking up the pieces here as damage estimates easily expected to go into the tens of millions of dollars. And that means a lot of insurance claims. And we're not just talking about all the big industrial complexes here, the businesses that are damaged. Lots and lots of personal property damage here. Lots of vehicles with their windows blown out. Check this big rig here, this freight liner. Have a look at that windshield smashed in by flying debris. Unbelievable, the force there. And this all is the cleanup here and those insurance claims continue. Watch. The cleanup from an EF-1, a tornado so powerful, it now brings in the heavy equipment needed to lift out damaged pipes here from the Royal Paper Box Company, one of the large industrial buildings working to repair its missing roof and eventually reopen after taking a direct tornado hit. That is other damaged companies are up and running. Samra Transport, a major trucking company already back in business, moving cargo back east just a day after its warehouse is left with tornado scars of its own. Looking up, see the sections of roof missing there, and down below, all the water damage inside. Okay, in the water in the freight damage. Damaged all this? Yes, water. Water damage that leaves valuable cargo now worthless. A lot of lost money. Insur do you have insurance? Yeah, I have full cover insurance. Oh, so no problem? No problem, anything. Okay. And yeah. you've already talked to the insurance man? Yeah, I call him. Mm -hmm. So he said no problems. An insurance claim, he says, that really paid off after this cell phone video shows his company getting blasted by that tornado. That's parts of the roof blowing away. Even a trailer in the loading dock blown right over on its side. From all this um, chaos, is about two to three hundred thousand dollars. That much. Yeah, in one day. Major losses that are now part of growing insurance claims filed through this five-block tornado zone, all for an unlikely disaster like a tornado here in the Southland. Tornado is a wind-covered event, so your homeowner's insurance, your business insurance uh, would cover any property damage. Besides the major building damage to several companies here, there is also widespread personal damage. Dozens of cars and trucks crushed under the weight of blown over trees. Auto policy also, if you have comprehensive coverage, which 85% of people do have that coverage, uh, then that would also cover damage to your car. That is, this man is left with a shattered window to replace on his van. Everything goes inside now. <laughs> well, uh, insurance? I have insurance, but uh, liability five hundred. So tomorrow coming to fix it up for one sixty five. So it's better for me to pay my right. from my pocket. Right. And now live, even though he has insurance, his deductible is high, so he says it's better for him to pay it out of his own pocket. It's cheaper for him that way. Look at this thing again. I can't get over that. Can you imagine the force of whatever hit that thing, smashing in the window like that? I'm looking over here, too, even more of the debris embedded into the grill of this big rig. For its part, quickly, I'll tell you, the city has a task force they've set up. They had some of their agents here earlier. They've been talking to the business owners, helping them with insurance claims, even trying to help them tap into state and federal funding just to try to help them get going again and get over a lot of these huge losses. For now, we're live here in Montebello. Back to both of you we go.